How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today we're going to talk about iOS 14. So finally Apple has given us a release date. It's going to be tomorrow, September 16th, which is a Wednesday. Of course, depending on when you're watching this video, iOS 14 will already be out. So it's just a matter of going ahead and updating your iPhone. But it's not just like that. There are a few things that you need to do beforehand and that's why I decided to record this video to give you the best way, the proper way to update your iPhone from iOS 13 to iOS 14 and of course give you my favorite uh, features, tips, tricks, some hidden things here and there that I'm sure you're going to love so when you update you're going to know the best of iOS 14. So without further ado, let me tell you what you need to do beforehand. So first you need to see if your iPhone is compatible. Of course iOS 14 is compatible with a ton of iPhone models but not all of them. So uh, I'm going to give you the list on the screen right now. So as you guys can see iOS 14 is compatible all the way back from the iPhone SE first generation going all the way up to the new to the newest iPhone 11 series so and of course it's also compatible with the iPod touch seventh generation as well so all the way from the iPhone SE 1 to the iPhone 11 11 Pro as you guys just saw on the screen a few seconds ago so it's very very impressive so first you just need to see if your iPhone is compatible if it is Great, step one is complete. Step two, and this is something that a ton of people just skip, they just think is not important, but is extremely important, and that is backup. Uh, every time we're updating our iOS to a major new version, so for example, iOS 11 to 12, 12 to 13, 13 to 14, which is the case, uh, so that, that year, that big update, we need to back up because it's a huge change in our operating system. So a ton of things change, so we need to back up because there's a there's a chance, I'm not going to say it's very likely, but there's a chance something goes wrong. So you lose data, you just have a problem in the process or something like that. So I do recommend that you back it up. So you can do a normal iCloud backup or an iTunes backup is up to you. And if we're not 100% sure on how to back up your iPhone, I'm going to have a link in the description down below. And of course, I'm going to have a card right here. So just click here uh, at the top right hand corner. And then you're going to go straight to a video of mine, which I teach how to back back up your iPhone. Okay, so now that we've covered compatibility and backup, I can finally show you how you can actually go ahead and update your iPhone to iOS 14. And of course, of course I didn't forget, I'm gonna show you my favorite features and best hidden tips and tricks that you are gonna love. So let's go. Okay guys, so the update process is pretty simple and is, as you can imagine, an over-the-air update. So all you have to do really is go to settings and then we're gonna scroll down to general uh, and then to software update and then wait to check the update and then iOS 14 is going to be right here. Please keep in mind that you're going to need to be connected to Wi-Fi in order to update and also that this update is only going to be available tomorrow, so uh, Wednesday, September the 16th, depending on when you're watching this video, maybe it will not be released just yet. Okay, so that's all you need to do the update. Of course, make sure that your iPhone is compatible and make sure that you have done the backup. As you can see, I'm already updated to iOS 14, so there's nothing I need to do because I'm already in iOS 14. So now let me show you the coolest features, the best features, top features, and of course, some hidden tips, tricks uh, that I'm pretty sure you're gonna love. So I'm not gonna start with widgets or app library or anything like that. I'm gonna start with something that maybe you're not aware of. So when you're here in the camera app and we wanna take a selfie, everyone knows that uh, the iPhone actually mirrors the image. So um, if I'm taking a photo of the camera and I'm gonna put my hand right here, so the hand is on the right of the camera, right? So I'm gonna take the photo and as you can see, uh, it just flips. Now my hand is on the left of the camera. It just flipped completely. Uh, if we wanna prevent that, it's actually very easy with iOS 14 because all you have to do is go to settings and then we're gonna scroll down all the way down to camera and now in iOS 14 we have a feature called mirror front camera. So we're gonna enable that and now, from now on, every time you take a selfie, it's not gonna mirror anymore. So I'm gonna put my hand here again on the right hand side of the camera take the photo and when, I'm gonna, and when I'm gonna look at the camera and the photo itself, as you can see, my hand is on the correct size on the right. So it didn't flip, 
No, it's correctly placed. I just love this feature. It's finally here implemented in iOS 14. Amazing. So now let's start and talk about some of the major changes, some of the big features in iOS 14, like the widgets, for example. So uh, as you probably know, uh, in order to activate and enable, disable, or edit uh, a, a, a widget, all you have to do is just edit our home screen. So by tapping and holding on any app, and then edit home screen. We can tap here, and then we we enter jiggly mode, okay, as Apple calls it, which is really weird. Uh, okay, so as you can see, it's right here, and from this point on, we can just delete apps, move them around, uh, and of course, I can delete this um, widget if I want to. If I hit undone, I'm back to normal. But what on, what not everyone knows is that if you tap and hold on any place of your home screen, any empty space of your home screen, just tap and hold, and then you're gonna see that we entered jiggly mode very, very easily. And of course, we can have access to our widgets, we can add, edit, and everything else, just by pressing the plus button right here. And then of course, we have the main widgets, so uh, the smart stack, uh, which is going to be a ton of widgets in one. Uh, and of course, we can cycle through them manually or it's going to be done automatically. We have the photos, uh, we have music, reminders, notes, calendar, stocks, and much, much more. And every time we press on a, on a widget that we want to add, we have the possibility to select the size. So it's, it can be the small size, medium size, and sometimes the large size. I'm going to show you in a second. So we can tap on add and then, of course, done. And then here we can cycle through all that information. So calendar, uh, music, uh, reminders, notes, and podcasts and stocks and everything like that. So then uh, here we have it. And of course, we can, of course, uh, if I just tap and hold and then remove this stack, I want to remove it. And if I want to add another one, I can just go ahead and add here. Um, some of the stocks actually uh, can vary in size. So for example, if I go ahead and tap on music, I can choose between the small one, the medium one, and the large one, which is, which could, can be that one, is up to you, okay? And of course, we can move it around as well. So it's not only fixed in place. For example, this widget right here, I can just move it around and place it uh, wherever I want. So it can be here. Uh, it can be here, it can be here. It's up to you where you want to put uh, your widget. So that's very, very cool. Another really cool feature is that now you can search emojis. Let me show you. So if you open Notes, for example, or frankly, any other application that has a keyboard, really, any application that you need to input data that you can actually select an emoji, it can be Notes, it can be Safari, it can be WhatsApp, iMessage, Instagram, whatever. If we tap on emoji on the icon itself, as you guys can see here, we have a new section called Search Emoji. And it does exactly what it says. So if we tap on search emoji, we can really search an emoji and it's going to uh, show the whole category and all the emojis that have to do with it. For example, if I put heart, it's going to show it's going to show us everything related to heart. So that's very, very cool because sometimes we have uh, the emoji gallery now is so huge that sometimes we take ages selecting, just looking for the emoji that we want. And by using that is super easy. If you put a uh, car, same thing, everything related to car. Uh, so I really, really love that. I just love this new feature, which is just basically an emoji search that we really, really needed. Now, let me show you something that I was just begging and hoping Apple would implement like for ages, and that is the compact call notification. Let me show you what I mean. So if I receive a phone call or a FaceTime call, it really doesn't matter. It's going to be presented to me like this. Instead of actually um, blocking the whole screen, it's going to be just this small notification at the top that I can just answer, decline, or of course, just swipe up and silence that phone call. And it's going to be right here as you guys can see. So it's going to be still ringing. If I want to, I can tap on it and take that call if I want to, or I can leave it like that, um, just silent, not bothering me, not actually ringing, not vibrating on my phone or anything. And of course, while I'm receiving that phone call, I can do whatever I want. Let me show you again because that phone uh, that phone call just uh, dropped. So I'm, if I phone myself again, as you guys can see, it's there. I can use my notes. I can have a look at my notes. I can actually like open up Instagram. I can do whatever I want, really. Like I can just go ahead and do whatever I want. Notif uh, silence it. 
and it's just like i didn't take that phone call i just love this new feature again apple should have implemented this years ago but it's finally here i love it and i just needed to show you guys now let's talk about picture in picture right so when we open safari and we have a video embedded on that web page or whatever uh if we play if we tap and we play that video we can actually of course listen to the video normally okay but if we actually leave the video it's gonna still be there so it's gonna be playing in the background so it's really really awesome because we can listen to that video watch that video while uh we're doing other stuff like for example checking our notes and the video is there so very very cool on top of that we can resize the video so we can make it very very large if we want to like blocking the screen from side to side or very very small uh, if we don't really care about the image that much and if we really don't care about the image we don't want the audio uh, we can just hide the video so we can hide it right here for example and the audio is still playing so that's very very cool because now we can have access to a video uh, in the background even though we don't want to be stuck on the web page for example and on top of that we can access youtube videos as well in picture in picture right now in your iphone using ios 14 if you want to check that please make sure to click on the card right here i have a video just teaching you how to do that i really recommend that you do it because watching youtube videos in picture in picture is amazing another key big feature in ios 14 of course is the app library which is of course you can see i have two pages right here at the bottom and if we scroll right we have another one and this is the app library where i have all my apps here uh, separated and categorized uh, and that's done automatically by iOS by the iPhone it does it automatically so it's super cool and of course I can search by tapping on the app library and see them uh, all alphabetically which is very nice and of course um, I can just take a look at the icons and press on them and go ahead and press on that icon and of course I can even search by swiping down and then I can search for any app that I want this is just a nice way that Apple implemented uh, to actually make your home screen much cleaner uh, less disorganized and just much neater in general so I really really like this new implementation and of course we can edit that if we tap and hold again on a blank space on our home screen and then tap on the folder uh, on the actual page buttons right here if we tap on that we can actually see all the pages that we have as you can see I have my first page in my one, two, three, four, five, and my sixth page selected. And I have some other pages that are actually hidden. So they're just hidden with all my apps. And I, I just need those two because I just need just those two to look for my info. And of course, my third page is gonna be my app library. So I don't need a ton of pages to be scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. No, I just need these two and the rest can be organized, tucked in right here where my eyes don't need to be looking at them all the time. I really, really love that feature. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video showing you uh, what you need to do to install iOS 14, the compatibility, show you the backup information, showing you how to actually update your, uh, your iPhone, and of course, show you uh, the most impressive, best, and coolest features in iOS 14, along with some really nice tips, tricks, and hidden features. So that's pretty much it. Hope you like it, and I'll be back in a few days as always. Bye-bye.